Friday, May 25th, 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a closer look at subtropical storm Alberto. Its current track is forecasted here from the National Hurricane Center. We're going to take a look at some eerie similarities that this storm has with a storm of six years ago. Almost the same exact point of origin, eerie similarities to that of Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy started in almost the same exact location, and if you look at their path, they almost have the same exact shape. Hurricane Sandy formed in October of 2012, and here is a look at Hurricane Sandy. It was a lopsided storm, much like this storm is forecasted to be very lopsided, but very powerful. The only difference is Sandy uh, started in October. This one's obviously in May. Sandy spent quite a bit more time over water, giving it uh, a better opportunity to strengthen. Even though it was in the higher latitudes, um, where the water is a little bit cooler, Sandy became a very powerful storm. And this storm, the emphasis is on how it's going to be a lopsided storm, almost exactly like Sandy was. But they're not mentioning that Hurricane Sandy started right here in the Caribbean and has almost the same exact path shape. So kind of an eerie similarity. We'll see if it has the same outcome as Hurricane Sandy. I hope not, but you never know. There's a big emphasis on this storm strengthening and making landfall somewhere right right now it's in between Mississippi and Alabama in the Mobile area but again that's subject to change and some of the models are showing this thing slowing down this is what it looks like but you can see that lopsided feature starting to take shape and it looks much like Hurricane Sandy and that's what Hurricane Sandy looked like when it started and it stayed lopsided like that all the way up the coast that's Hurricane Sandy here on the right. So I have a feeling this is what this storm is going to do. It's being referenced as not going to be a textbook hurricane like this one here. That's Hurricane Irma from 2017. That was a classic hurricane. They say that was a Category 6. That was in a league all its own. But anyway, when a storm a hurricane, that's a Cat 5, when it reaches full-blown hurricane status, that's what they look like. They have a very symmetrical shape this storm is not forecasted to be. Much like Sandy that started in almost the same exact location did not become a very symmetrical storm. But boy did it pack a punch. So will it be like Sandy? I don't know. Here's what we do know. It's starting now. It's a subtropical storm. It's starting to develop. It's moving very very slowly. If you look at Venture Sky, where I have it configured is Sunday morning at 6 a.m right here in the middle of the Gulf, just parallel from Tampa Bay. We're going to step it forward, let's go three hours at a time. We're going to go up to 9 a.m. Watch the center of rotation. Watch what it does. That's 9 a.m. on Sunday morning, the 27th. Now we'll go to noon, right around lunchtime. See how it jumps forward about 50 miles? Let's go to 3 p.m. Watch the center of rotation. Now the outer edge, as it's not real uniform. You can see this side here has got all the wind and all the storm surge on the right hand side, which they normally do anyway, but you can even tell by looking at this model, it's not going to be a uniform shaped storm. That's at 3 p.m., but I want you to pay attention to the eye wall. 6 p.m., it moves to the north northwest. 9 p.m., it goes down to the southwest. Watch what it does at 11. Goes back up due north. So let's go through that sequence one more time. I'm going to back it up to 6 p.m. 6 p.m., it's just below uh, Alabama. We're going to jump up to 9 p.m. Do you see it make that hook? Let's go back to 7. Maybe if I step it forward an hour at a time. You can see how it stalls. And there, jump back up. And that's from 9 to 10. Watch. Go back to 9. Jumps straight up towards Alabama. Then it turns left towards Mississippi. Let's go to midnight. Still to the northwest, 1 a.m., drops back down to the southwest at about 50 miles in an hour. I mean, it just is, I don't know if the model's having a hard time picking up uh, what this thing's going to do. There it jumps back to the north about 50 miles. So we're going to back it up from 2 a.m. to 1 a.m. From 1 a.m. to midnight, you can see it jumping around. Look, 
That's what I say. That's a scary model. If, if it's going to do that, that means it's going to be parked here for over 24 hours. That's not good. So there it just bounced back to the north. And that was from 4 to 5 a.m. There it bounced back to the south. And this is all on early Monday morning. There it bounced back to the north, 7 a.m. 8 a.m., north again. Right on the state line between Mississippi and Alabama. Now we're going to go from 8 to 9 a.m. Bounce back down. 10 to 11. Back up. 11 to 12. It goes over towards the Mississippi Delta. Let's do that again. So this is 11 a.m. I'm sorry. It's actually 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Watch it jump to the left. Look at that. And increase in wind speed. We're going to move it from 2 to 5. Look at that. Jumps about 100 miles to the northeast. Now we're going to go back. We're going to go from 5 p.m. to 2 p.m. Watch this. Look at that. So hopefully, and then it goes back again. So we're going to go from 2 p.m. This is on Monday the 28th to 5 p.m. Jumps forward to lower Mississippi and lower Alabama. Then we're going to go to 8 p.m. Jumps back down to the Mississippi Delta. And then from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m stays on the Mississippi Delta, increasing in wind speed up to nearly 80 miles per hour. Unreal. So that's at 11 p.m. on Monday night. We're going to jump forward to 2 a.m. on Tuesday. Still in the same location. 5 a.m. Still in the same location. 8 a.m. Jumps way up to central Mississippi and Alabama in three hours. So I don't think, or at least I'm hoping, this model is not accurate, but you can see it's having a difficult time um, identifying exactly which model it wants to stick with. It has this eye wall bouncing around in 50 mile increments over the course of 24 hours. So I don't know what to think of this model here. We can look at the sea surface temperatures and that definitely dictates usually if it's going to strengthen or weaken. We just saw a storm over here in the eastern Pacific that once it got up into the cooler waters, it disappeared. Typically, when these things get into the warmer waters, they strengthen. And you can see the waters there off the coast of Louisiana and Mississippi, Alabama, are warm, 84 degrees in some places. And that's about as warm as it gets right now in the Gulf of Mexico. So if this storm does go to that location, spends any amount of time here, it could, but there's no guarantees, it could strengthen. They normally do. Um, if you look at this model here, it shows the same thing. This is from uh, Tropical Tidbits. This is the GFS model, and it shows pretty much the same thing. Uh, the 27th on Sunday, we're going to start where we were on the other one, just parallel from Tampa Bay. Moves forward, and it does kind of slow down. The center of rotation is right here and makes a left-hand turn and stalls, still staying in the same location, but not bouncing around like it was on Venture Sky. But you can see it stays there for the better part of 24 hours. This is the, okay, let's go 29th at midnight, and then we'll back it up. There's the 28th at noon, 28th at midnight, and it's still right around that same area. So this storm, whatever it may be, whatever it's going to turn into, could strengthen into a, a, a hurricane. It does have some of the same characteristics as Hurricane Sandy. Here we're going to start in the same location, basically parallel from Tampa Bay at Null School. And we're going to step it forward three hours at a time. This model here is a little more decisive. You can see it's moving to the north-northwest towards uh, Mississippi and Alabama. However, you can see it does kind of slow down and makes a left-hand turn like the other models. So it doesn't really know what it wants to do when it gets to that area. And you can see it kind of goes left and then right, kind of like Vincius Guy did. And Vincius Guy has always been a very accurate um, source of information when it comes to forecasting these storms and any types of storms in general. It's normally pretty good. But you can see this storm does slow down. Once it reaches the northern gulf off the coast of Mississippi and Alabama, it definitely slows down almost to a stall. And this is through Null School. We've looked at 
tropical tidbits and we've looked at Venture Sky and they're all showing the same thing pretty much with Venture Sky having the eye wall bounce around in 50 mile increments uh, but showing the same characteristic stalling as it gets towards the coast of Mississippi, Alabama and Louisiana. So whether it does or it doesn't still remains to be seen. Just prepare for it to stall as a tropical storm at least dropping lots of rain and that's on late Sunday um, early Monday all day Monday and quite possibly into Tuesday so be ready for a large rain event late this weekend because this storm as it moves forward could stall I'll post the link to the the National Hurricane Center's map that you can see here and how it does have stunning similarities to a storm from long, long ago, a historic storm that we named Hurricane Sandy. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.